Hey everyone, it is Steven with God14 Tutorials. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you uh, how to set up your TeamSpeak server. Everything is going to be included in this tutorial. Not just those little, you know, pussy tutorials where people just say, you, oh, you download it and turn it on. This is going to be a full, full, full tutorial. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go choose your internet browser of choice and you're going to go to TeamSpeak servers or TeamSpeak.com. And you're going to go to their download section, okay? Now, we are going to be using Windows, of course, so you're going to have to be win downloading Windows, unless you're Mac or Linux or, you know, whatever. So, um, just download the server client for your um, uh, operating system. Now I have server uh, for Windows. Now I just need to download the client real quick because I haven't done that yet in my operating system, so. If you might already know, I'm using ScreenToaster.com. <laughs> Funny, huh? So, um, so you know, um, so just if you don't already have it, download the server and the client. No, should be almost done. Let's go. Come on. Sorry about this. So while I was doing, you should be installing your server right now. It should take about two seconds. Once you have that done, um, uh, okay, let me just install the client real quick. Yes. Oh, no. There we go. Oh. Right. oh gosh. Go hurry up. Okay, so now we have that. That's perfect. Okay. So uh care and slow codex, don't really care. Okay, finish. Okay, so now we have TeamSpeak open. You should have it open because you need it for your servers. Now um after you have your server installed, and you fir start it for the first time, you get a little box. Now, I already have it, you know, installed, so I don't get the little box. It'll give you all your information for your login name, for your admin, and your server admin. So just open those up and write them down. I have my own little text document. So, yeah. Um, now what you're going to do is you want to open up the file location of your TeamSpeak server. So mine's in the program files, and TeamSpeak, and then TeamSpeak 2 RC2. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get this folder. It's got all everything in it. Now, this stuff I'll go over in a later tutorial on the advanced features of TeamSpeak. And um, right now we're just going to open up the server configuration. And w on Windows, make sure with the administrator account you right click, go to properties. I'm oh, sorry, go back to your main file on TeamSpeak 2, right click, go to properties, go to un uncheck written only, and on security, on each one of these or just users, make sure you have allow or it won't let you rewrite that I've always had. So just click on server configuration. Now what you want to do is you're gonna you know you can change all of this but just don't mess with this. Now the main configuration, this is what you're gonna want. Keep the HTTP server the same. Uh, make sure it's enabled and then that's the date and time format. So day, month, year, hours, you know, minute, second. Now the TCP query port this one you can change, so you don't. So it's harder for hackers to change. So I'm just gonna go 4154. Just keep it like that. Then you have disallowed characters. You can put any characters in there. So you can have dash equals underscores. You can just put as many as you want under there. They, these are just the default. Now I'm gonna exit, click out of those because I like them. Actually, it does help. Put in your email, your ISP link, your ISP. Uh, if I use Comcast, you can put Comcast if you want. Your user agent would be TeamSpeak. Now, logs. If you are a hoster or you want to start hosting, you and clients want you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Sorry. So if you want to, you know, keep logs of your stuff. Just change all this zeros to ones, because the zeros means off, one means on. So I'm just gonna do this real quick and we'll be done. Now spam, you always want to keep this 5 and 2. It helps. So you don't have this, so anti-spam. So now we have that done. 
what we can do is we go into our main server configuration or admin as some people say click on that, click on that. Oh, oh, first now what you're going to do is you're going to open up your router if you have one if you don't have a router don't worry about it they're already open you don't have to port forward or anything so I'm just going to open my router oh crap Okay, so I have Netgear, so I'm just going to go port forwarding, triggering. Now, my TC TCP I had changed, so I might want to change that. Um, crap. This port 5456. Okay. And then the TCP ports, so if I want to, I'm hosting them. So my port range is 4,000 to 5,000. You know, other companies have different ones. So, yeah. So you just want to make sure you have your TCP forwarded and your ports that you're going to be operating on. So if you operate multiple servers, you're going to want to put a port range 4,000 to 5,000 for me. So I'm just checking my time. So, um,. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our server administration panel. I'm working on my first server, so I'm just going to go to the global settings. Which you can change all this. And I mean, this all gets set. You can set it in your server configuration, or you can set it in here. It's easier to put it in here. So just uh, at google.com. Give all that. Burundi, public list. Uh, max commands will be 5 and 2. Save it, it saves it automatically. Now we're going to servers. I stop the server, it will be started. Just so you can edit it. Click set, select, go to server settings, change it. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to make it like this. Uh, make this. So your port range, you got to change it if you have your ports. Got to. So if I want mine to be 4044. Or whatever that is, 4040. Sorry, as you can see, it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. So you just click save, and the server configuration has been changed. So now, you can go to your, you can set all your permissions, and I think they're all already checked and whatnot. Uh, you can mess with those. And same with the user manager. You can add a user. I'm just going to edit my password real quick so I can, if you know what I mean, so I can get my server. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to Open up a TeamSpeak 2 client. You're going to find your IP address actually first. I'm sorry. Go to cmyip.com. My IP is right there. And if you port forwarded, it should work fine. If you didn't, you won't be able to connect. So just keep that in mind. And server. Just server. Okay. Server address would be your IP address plus the port. Your nickname would be admin if you are editing. Be registered. Come on. Error. Oh, oh crap, I forgot to turn it online. So that's another, you know, pig problem. I'm just gotta make sure it's online. I feel stupid now. Engaged. There you go. Works fine. Now, if you're in your own, you know, network, you can also do this. Uh, one two dot one six eight uh, one dot three. Link disengaged. That's also working because you're a local host. You're running off your own computer, so you can either do both. So you can just create a channel. Uh, create. Switched channel. Switched channel. There you go. So just let's go back into our server configuration file. See if anything. Oh, don't want to look at that. I gotta change everything. Crap. Um, go into your configuration file. 
and you'll see if you refresh nothing because it's all working so that's pretty much it guys and uh... just remember my name is steven from Gulf 14 tutorials and be sure to check out later we be making more tutorials on um... uh... the advanced features of TeamSpeak, MySQL, TCP, Query Docs and all this good stuff so I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you guys later Bye.